Hello and welcome back to Daybound. Today we have a lot of very, very cool things planned. The first one being I need to breed another dog and name it Cat because I somehow forgot about that dog name suggestion. And I said that I would have like a dog for each suggestion. So it, I'm feeling quite bad about that. But, but, I realized my mistake, and now I'm going back home to meet with my puppy family and bring one new member. I'm so... Oh, there's a new house. Hello, new house. I wonder whose it is. Wait, what was that? Why? Who? Who did that? Your parkour was mean. I cried, have revenge. My parkour was not mean. Is that supposed to be parkour? What? Who, who did that? Hmm. Hmm. Am I supposed to like jump somewhere to? I, it's not possible to make that jump. Whoever did that? Oh, actually, no. It's possible. I was gonna say whoever did that knows nothing about parkour, but I know nothing about parkour. Also, those little things, how will you call that? Cobwebs, sorry, yes, cobwebs. You don't put cobwebs in parkour, that's just, that, that, that's just wrong. L let's take care of the dogs. Hello dogs, hello Odo, hello Ross. Uh, Rose, I should, there we go. Now get up and make a baby dog. There we go. Welcome, cat the dog. Yes, please come here. Oh, don't go too far. There we go. That's perfect. Hello, cat. Now let's remove all of that because I, I, I need to use my house again. So I cleaned my house and then I came back to my storage system to drop off some of the stuff. And look what I found. Look, look what I found. Your parkour was mean lol. Your parkour was mean colon L. Yeah, whatever that means. Your parkour was mean I cried. Your parkour was mean O. Oh. Your parkour was mean. Your parkour was mean period. All sorts of hidden messages all around my, uh, my, my storage. And then there was this. Your parkour was mean, I will shave your fur. That, that is a threat. And this will not stand. Also, your parkour was mean, I like apple. That, that's a clue. I'm sure of it. So we're, we're on to, to something now. We, basically, I'm on the warpath and I just need to find who here likes apples. Also, we have some more plans for today. So first, let's just drop all of that here. Oh, oh one of them was twice the same message. Hmm. Maybe that means something. Maybe that's another clue. Anyway, we'll figure that out later because we have some very important plans for today, which is, as you probably remember from seeing the thumbnail of the video, Going to the end and raiding an end city because just look at me. Look, look at me right now. Is there something that looks weird? There is something that looks weird. I'm wearing a chest plate. I never wear a chest plate because I always, always, always wear an elytra. And I don't have an elytra yet on this server. And it's about time that I, uh, I find a uh, solution to that problem. Same thing with uh, shulker boxes. I uh, I only have one so far, and that is also a big, big, big problem. I'm gonna need more than one if I want to be at least like mildly productive this season. And I thought this could be a very good opportunity to bring you along and share some of the tricks that I use when raiding and city. The first tip that I can give you is to go ahead and ditch the terrible, terrible food source. Just, just throw everything in the water and find something better. In this case, I'm gonna grab some golden carrots. They're gonna be ideal for an end raiding session. 
You should also make sure to get some rockets because if you get your elytra and you do not have any rockets, it's not gonna be very, very useful. You should also make sure to bring some mending books, some unbreaking, and an anvil. Then you put all of that in your ender chest along with more food, some crafting tables, uh, I, I took tough but just random block, and uh, I also carry some scaffolding, it might be useful in some cases, and I always bring two water buckets. You should also drop everything you're not gonna need in the end to keep your inventory as clean as possible. Now you're almost ready to head to the end, but first you need to set your spawn next to the portal and make sure that there is an ender chest close by. Whee! It's always easier to fight the ender dragon with some friends. That way they can kill it for you while you safely collect some dragon's breath. Once you've gone through the end gateway, it's a good time to start gathering a bunch of chorus fruit. It's an extra food source and it can potentially save your life. If you're like me and you don't like wearing a pumpkin on your head while raiding the end, another trick that I can give you is to look at the top half of your screen instead of the middle of the, uh, of the screen. That way you automatically end up looking down so you avoid looking directly at Enderman and angering them, which can cause you a lot of problems. Whenever you make a bridge over the void, I suggest you take a screenshot of your F3 menu so that you can save your coordinates and find it better in case you die and you have to come back. When you find your first end city, you should first of all take note of your coordinates and then make a uh, an infinite water source with your two water buckets. Uh, I think it's less important now, but water used to be very, very useful when raiding an end city. Uh, so now you can head in, and in this case, I think it's empty. But I can still get the achievement. Amazing. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be any shulkers left in here. It was a tiny, tiny little end city. So a uh, little trick that I can give you in cases like that is to completely break the end city, make it super obvious that it's empty, that it's already been raided. So just break all the walls on the first or second floor or something like that. Just make it very obvious and it allows you to uh, get some more blocks that you can use to bridge across the void. So now if you see that city from far away, you'll see that something's weird about it, so you'll probably understand that it has already been raided and there's nothing to gain here, so you won't be too excited for no reason and you'll move on to find another one. And at some point you will find a city where you have that magnificent sound of shulkers. I don't know what they're doing. Gargling, maybe? I'm, I'm not too sure. Now, you got the infamous big room. Like so. So in this case, my trick is to let them hit me. Make sure I don't lose too many hit points. And fly up to the top. And in the meantime, let them try to kill each other. Although, no, that might be a bad trick because they will uh, multiply if they keep hitting each other. So, yeah, anyway, my, my trick is still to go up and find safety on the last floor here. You can build yourself some little rooms like so to uh, lose the uh, floating effect. There we go. So now we can start looting. Ooh, many, many diamonds and many cool stuff. Very, very nice. Uh, I suggest taking the chests. Because you can use them to make shulkers. Uh, shul well, shulker boxes, I should say. And then you can either start shooting the shulkers like to uh, soften them up a bit or kill a few. 
but I still suggest killing them with a sword. So one reason why I was talking about bringing water is because if you are in flowing water, the levitation effect no longer works, so despite the fact that I'm getting hit, I, I still... I can still move downwards and therefore I can reach the shulkers that are down below. So I am right now in a situation where I cannot uh, find the last shulker, I can hear it, sometimes it shoots at me, but I cannot find where it is. So turn on the subtitles and it will help uh, help find where it is, so it's probably outside, there it is, please die, thank you for your contribution to my riches. One final trick with this kind of room here, uh, there's kind of a parkour thing that you can do all around it, uh, don't bother with the parkour, just break the walls, it's gonna, again, help uh, identify if the uh, the city has been visited already or not, and it's it's just plain easier to navigate through the through the, the place if you just make holes in the wall like that. And there it is, I got my first end ship, so for this one time I'm gonna try something, I'm not sure if it's gonna work all that well, but I'm gonna try to climb up to the ship with some scaffolding. Really not sure if it's gonna be like really an efficient method, but there's only one way to find out. Let's try this. Here would be a perfectly good spot. Also, I'm gonna put some water down here just to have a bit of a landing uh, pond. Are we close enough now? Hmm. Let's climb up to see if it's high enough. Yes. Perfect. Now, let's just place some blocks and start bridging towards the ship and hopefully that shulker here will shoot me sometime soon whenever you're ready whenever you can yes yes thank you thank you thank you let's head up here and let's ender pearl inside Let's kill this little guy. Yes, perfect. And I'm about to get my elytra. That's amazing. Yes. Whee! Now that we've shared this news with the bounders, we can enchant Elytra, I think I should have enough XP to enchant it. Yes, perfect. And I have my first ever Elytra. That's amazing. I'm super happy. Um, but I won't, yeah, I won't put it on right now. I'm gonna keep it in my Ender Chest because there's still the possibility that I die down here. And if I do, it's going to be more useful to keep my elytra and uh, use it to come back here and gather all my stuff than to wear it inside the city while I raid it. Uh, it's a theory that I have. I, I, I think it's a better choice. So now to show that this elytra has been taken I'm going to do kind of like I've been doing with the the end cities and I'm gonna uh, break that little uh, ship here. Also I need to take the dragon head of course. 
Yes, perfect. Uh, let's just break that and maybe make like a bigger hole right here. There we go. Now it should be obvious that this ship has been raided and that uh, if someone finds it, they, they shouldn't stay here for too long. It's not going to be worth it. And I found another city with a ship, so now I have my second Elytra. That's good enough for today. I'm gonna head back home, and while heading back home, I'm gonna show you one last little trick that I know. Uh, not, it doesn't necessarily involve end rating, it's more about like flying through unloaded chunks. Ah, see, that's uh. Yeah, that's the last one. It was super close by. Anyway, um, some people are uh, very scared of flying like in the end because uh, they end up flying in unloaded chunks with not a lot of uh, anything to uh, like help them see where they are. But if you open the F3NG menu, it, it does kind of break immersion, but it shows the chunk border, so it really helps align, uh, like you, you really know if you're going down or if you're going up. It really helps with that, so um, again, if it's something that you struggle with, I uh, strongly suggest using that. Though now it doesn't seem too useful because we clearly see uh, the islands, but it's still a pretty neat trick, I think. So on that note, I'm going to look at my Elytra. That's good enough. Um, yeah, on that note, that's how we're going to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click on all the buttons. And also, tell me if you learned any new tricks. Or if you have any, new, uh, any tricks of your own that I did not mention. I'll be super, super happy to read them. So thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.